Hello my fellow gamers, some Poggy Gabbit and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Firstly you may be thinking, me playing Minecraft on my channel, what's going on? All I've seen on the channel is either like a bit of FIFA or Stardew Valley or something. Well basically I got burnt out of the game at the start of this year, I think around about January time when we started to play uh, Resident Rise 3. It started the pack not long after um, we finished up a Modern World 2, I think about a week or something like that. And it got to the point where I thought, I really can't be bothered with this and just thought, oh, sack it. I'm just going to go back, leave Minecraft for a while and just play some other games. And the break has done me good. I mean, done me real good. And the first thing you may be thinking is, what? Where are we playing? What are we playing on? And all sorts. Well, we are playing on the latest version of the game. Let me just sort out F3, as you can see, 10.2. Secondly, we are playing on the Hermit Pack and the new one from the Feed the Beast team, which I am really excited to play. And 10.2 10 10 mods, I have absolutely no idea what about. And thirdly, we are playing this pack on the Voxel follow up. Voxel Squad follower server. Yep, that means any of you guys who are in the follower squad on the Vox on the Discord chat do have the chance of actually joining us on the server. Though you do have to reach a certain level in the chat. I do believe it's around about level five. Just sh shouldn't take you too long to get to as long as you don't spam, obviously. And yeah, that means we can see loads of people. We've already got a fair few people on that follower thing on here. Uh, we got Sheridan is just down there. Uh, there's my tempo, which I really need to get rid of. Down that way, we have Jay. What, we have one of our followers, uh, PIO Gamers, and I think. And let me just check my journey map. If memory serves me right up here, I believe we've got Captain Comets. Um, um, I know NG Rose is on the server, I'm not entirely sure where, and I think we do have a few other players, obviously I'll leave links to everyone in the description below so you actually are able to see, so yeah, I am really, really excited to actually get started though, we, we have only been playing for a few hours, just getting ourselves set up, getting a few resources here and there, my god, I just realised I need to eat because my <laughs> hunger levels... Yeah, just getting a few resources here and there, like oh, iron, some weirdos, like Galean ore, which I have absolutely no idea what it's from. One, or oh, you may remember, very, be very familiar, yellow, right? So, big reactors, though it's not big reactors as you may um, do believe, because it's a completely different mod. I think it's extreme reactors, though um, we're not using any I. I Come on, what is what is that mod called? Um, it's a variation of um, NEI, but yeah, it doesn't get the doesn't give you the list of all the mods in the game. You have to literally know what mod you're looking for. So that may just be a little bit of an issue. But in here we've got the usuals, like obviously all the vanilla stuff. Um, we have one here that actually I not don't entirely recognise. Actual additions. Which does look very interesting. I've seen these ones before, like the drills. Uh, what else do we have? Actually, additions. That's more of that stuff. We have blood magic, which I do know of, but never played with. So, may just may try this out. Um, what else have we got? Britannia. I know this mod through and through. I literally went proper end game on here on that mod, which which I'll probably try again. Um, what else is in here? It's like so much bloody stuff. We got the chisel, which is always awesome. Sal Silic, um, no idea what this mod's about. We've also got mechanism Ender IO, my one of my favourite mods. I love that mod. Um, I'm just trying to run through all the things I know. Extra utilities too, basically an update on extra utilities, and supposedly a lot, a lot different. And um, what else do we have here? Oh, forest industry, which means we've got G industry as well. Um, ex here we go. Extreme reactors, basically port over from big reactors. So we are definitely getting into this one. We do when we do get round to it. Uh, what else? We have, as you can see, like I said, G industry. We have hermit quest. Um, really have no idea what this one's about. That we may try and dip into. Oh, here's one way I'm playing for industrial craft too, which. Looks very intriguing. Like I haven't played that since about the 1.5 days or one point was it 1.64 is the last time I played Industrial Craft. So yeah. This one mechanism. I remember that one all too well. Um got Pam's Harvey Crust here, which 
is a very interesting one if you want to make loads of food. This one here, I haven't got a clue about. Multi-storage and open computers. That you have to build like all sorts of different stuff like busking things, servers and all sorts. I have no freaking clue about that mod. And obviously I'm going to have to watch a fair few wikis like if me thinks. PSI, not a clue about. Um, what's this one? RF Tools. Now there's a mod I know about. I've played that one extensively in um, Feed the Beast Horizons where we made that world a flat world with diamond, diamond blocks in orbs which was bonkers. What's this one here? Quark? Um, nope, not a clue. Uh, refined storage. Basically, it's a different variation of like AE2, so might be we might just dip into that one. Knowing like AE2, the developers have like left left it behind. So I think someone may be porting it over to make make AE3, but I really couldn't comment on because I don't really know. Um, what else do we have? Uh, that one, not a clue. Slim, what's this one? Roots, not an idea. This one I do, storage drawers, I love that one. I believe this one, Tech Reborn, is an add-on to Industrial Craft 2, because I re recognise these things from the early days of of Industrial Craft and Tech Bond, New Oz. So, and also the one that everybody loves, ah, Tinkers. That, I think, is the first mod that we're actually going to be dipping into, and also, as you can see, a weapon case loot. So, yeah, we've... It's, there's loads of blooming stuff to do in this game. What's everyone saying in there? Here, yeah, listen, singing, you'll find Scar. Okay, I think that's something to do with the Hermit Quest. But anyway, seeing we started out, this is the little location that we are. Um, I believe it's going to be a nice little spawn base. So I've got these two little mountain points going up. So I'm thinking we could end up building two fancy, fancy statues here, just like pointing out. So that will be awesome. And in terms of the entrance point for the soon-to-be uh, base, I don't know where I'm going to be building the building or do it underground with stairs or using the RF tools teleporters. I don't know. I haven't got a clue yet. But I know, um, as you can see, from our personal self, we ha have been very kindly given some armor. armor. So, um, the green emerald chest plates and the boots were got given by Jay literally early on today and last night. I got the steel leggings and the lapis lazuli lapis Luzu um, helmet from Sheridan, which was very kind of him. Right, I need to make sure I don't fall in there. Ow! So I take a lot more damage. I've always, I've already jumped from there into there, which is a little bit frustrating. On the plus side, though, just look what we see up there: a slime island. So thinking, once we get a few resources, we're gonna have to get up there to get some slimes right. But first, before we do all that. Uh, we need to go to our temp home because our Jay's left us something which I've already seen, but you haven't. And I'm just thinking, what the hell is that thing? Good times with Scar. Um, I have no idea. I'm gonna. I'm not doing that one. What, what's Mo saying? Use the hermit one. Not big. Just put in a shop in plots. Ah, okay. Right. I'll leave them to it. And also, one of the little additions, as you saw what I was doing, I was waving. And also, um, I think I can do that. Let me just go to F5 so you can see. Headbanging, which is also fun. And uh, what's another one? Oh, head sigh. Oh, yeah. These, I'm going to have some fun and games with these ones. Right. This blooming chest. Right, here we go. And this is what Jay gave us uh, literally early on today. It may not mean anything to you. It doesn't really mean much to me. But from what I remember, he got me to plant it at his base and it turned into like a humongous store. Literally shot up right to the top, I reckon, build limit. Like, Jay did say, go, like, make sure you're recording when you do it. We will do that when we're more fully prepared, but we're not going to do that now. I'm trying to think, what the hell good time is Scar pumping up? What the hell's going on here? And I just spotted Jay flying, yep, he's already got in-game flight, literally after a few... Fair few hours just playing the bloody mod pack literally non-stop. Yeah, I think we're going to leave him to that. Right, seeing we're back here now, I might as well let you know what it is we're going to do first. Like, primarily, like I said, we want to go to that slime island up there. And if we just happen to have a quick look in Tinkers and go to the exact um, section of the mod we want to go to, 
We want to go up there primarily because we want to make these things here slime boots. I literally remember watching Hypno, I think it was last week. He made, made those things and I think they like give the effects of like feather falling. So I think that is definitely something that I do want to work towards. But we're not going to do that just yet. I want to make sure I can actually get some better RAM in the meantime. And like as you know, we've got the ores in there. I want to at least try and get some better armor and at least double double the yours we've got um as you know tinkers blobber stuff so think think if you've been watching my channel and a fair few may may of you have been um you may know how tinkers work and uh, you have to make the smeltery to have to melt that then you have to put the lava in to put uh put the ores in to cook it all down and so on and so forth to make all make all these parts i think smeltery as you know is very simple to make and uh, where's the one we want um Oh yes, that one. You have to make these sea bricks, which in turn you have to make from gravel, which in turn, as you know, is made from gravel, clay, and sand. We've got a fair amount of gravel, only about 31, but I think we're going to have to go and get more. So I'm thinking, I'm going to have to go on a nice gravel, sand, and clay hunt. I have no idea how that lo how long that's going to take me. I reckon it could take me maybe about an hour or two. Once we've got all that, I think we'll be back when I've got the smelter near enough being made. Fingers crossed. Now, I wasn't really going to show this. It's not like a mod that's in this list up here. It's more like a um, kind of effect that's been added. It's more like an um, echo sort of thing. So if I just start mining now... You can hear it's sort of like a massive echo. I think it increases possibly the bigger the bigger space room, but... She's mental. That is nuts. Holy Christ, how the hell did I not fall down here? Literally running down there and then at the last second I saw the gap and jumped. Never even realised how deep it was until I got to the other side, but holy Christ, I could have lost everything down there. Right, we're back though. Literally just checked chat. Um, Sharon got stuck in a wall by using that command. As to how that blooming happened, I don't blooming know. As to if I'm going to use that command, I don't know. Right, we just got to get all this sorted. The only thing I'm not too sure about is where is there any main other ground? How much have you got? One, two, three. Yeah, the only thing I'm not sure about is. Have we got enough for all this grout? I don't bloody know. Uh, let's just quickly do that. We have a fair amount. I think we should be fine. And that, I think, is everything we need for the smelter. I think um, we, I think we've got more than enough to make just a couple more layers of this thing. I'm um, not entirely sure how many we can actually make. I'm thinking... Um, let's put an extra three on. So how many is that? 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15. So another 30. Have I got enough? Um, hopefully I have. Right, let's put it to 38. So let's just quickly do that. I'd rather do this way instead of making a few more than I actually do need. Uh, okay, I've actually made 34, but okay, that's not not the end of the world. I've still got tons bloody over around. Put you in there. Like so. Oh my god, this bloody auto step thing is really annoying. Right, where the hell am I going to put it? Especially with all these bloody trees in the way. Um, I think right here. Right, and that is near enough complete. And the only way to make sure it works is put that on there like so, and then put this one here, and boom. And as soon as you see that flame start to flame up, you know you've got a working smeltery. <laughs> Now, it's all, all well and good, like, having it. Now it's just a case we actually need to get some fuel in it. And that means we need to find some lava. I did see, if memory serves me right, some down there. Yeah, just down there. Right, I'm thinking I'm going to go during the day. Ra I'd rather do it in the day than at night time. Right, and the thing, other thing I'm thinking about is how much lava is exactly underneath this? I wonder if it's, like, one layer or if, if it's two. Right, let's see. So... No, and no. Yeah, it looks like it's only the one bloody layer. Um, quickly do that. And yeah, just a really short, small pearl. Whoever did this, you're a pain. I could have used that. I was like, I'm going to have to go digging into the mines or something. I wonder, is there any um, machines in the mod? Any type of machines in the mod part that I can actually go ahead and create lava? I can't. Don't think there is. I remember the one that there was one in thermal in seven point ten, but as for 
this one, I haven't got a clue. If you, any of you guys know, please do let me know. Right, so, one in there, you can see it just filled up, and two, done. And it's just, as you can see, two buckets worth of, oh my god, it's actually changed. Before it was like Miller buckets, well, with all measurements and stuff. Okay, that's really different, right. We've also got another fun thing that we got to try and think about how we're going to do. Cause like, especially if we want to get the weapons and stuff, we need to make a few casts. And I think we need brass for that. Um, yes, we do. Right, how do we make the brass? Uh, oh, oh, can, you use, oh, can you use gold? Huh? I'm sure you could use a different sort of mixture. Okay, looking for it also... We do have the option to use these things, uh, clay cast, if memory serves me right, according to what some people have said, these are one time use only, so, yeah, I think in the meantime, for any ingots that we're going to need, uh, we're just going to dump them into that, I reckon that might just be the easier option, especially seeing the only bloody um, ingots we've got primarily is iron, so I might as well do that, I wonder if it works with yellow rights. Um... Probably, it probably works with all ingots. Eh, oh well, right. Let us just get some of this, this stuff. Right, next little job is going to that slime island over there. That is going to be a fun one, trying to achieve all the slime we require. Right, we're just about to get going for our trek up to said slime island, which is just behind there. Um, and as you know, smeltery is up and running. We've got a few resources for ourselves, uh, namely iron and a bit of tin and a few others, though we can't really smelt that at the moment because we don't really have the casting. I could go ahead and make these things, but the only problem is if we just happen to go to this one, regardless of what it is we want to make, whether it be a rod or a freaking axe head, pickaxe head or something, each of these consumes these casts, so that it's imperative that we actually do go ahead and actually try and get some gold, but that I'm not really going to worry about. Right, seeing we're just about to go up there, I think it's I need at least a shield just to protect myself from any mobs that... Uh, may happen to want to spawn up there and just try and kill me. So yeah, and also another little nice little feature I've just seemed to have noticed is with these things here, um, not not generally that, but these ones from Tinkers, it's about that in previous versions, like, for what I remember, like, 7.10, if you wanted to use, like, the tool station or whatnot, um, you had to go to set item and actually click out of it. But this time, you just have to go in here, oh, bollocks, you just have to go in there and then just select the thing you actually want to use. So if you just want to make the pattern, do that. If you want to make the stencil, uh, do that one. Then if you want to make the tool, do that one. So, yeah, it's actually really nice and saves actually a hell of a lot of time, right? I need to stop me jumping over this right last thing we need to do. I just need to make a quick little shield. Like I said, just need to protect myself. Um, I love this. Look, all the items appear on the uh, crafting table. So that is really cool. So, so I'll try and pick that up. There we go. And seriously, I can't pick up that. My God, what's got with my mouse? Got fresh batteries in. Right, one shield, uh, one sword. Um, my God, what's going on? I'm having trouble, real trouble with this. Right, I uh, just need a few, couple stacks of stone, I think we should be good. Right, this I think will be an interesting trek. <laughs> oh, definitely interesting. Right, just need to now make sure I'm going to be going into the right spots. Um... Think about here should do the job. Yeah, right, let's do it. Let's climb up. Make sure I don't fall off either, because it might be a nasty death. And holy Christ, we are high up. Look at that. I'm just checking out why 162. Yeah, definitely not pretty if I fall off. Ooh, cool. Why have we got normal trees up here? Okay. Right, I suppose it's better time we get some slime from these trees and... I'm just thinking, shouldn't they be doing normal slimes? Sapl sli slime leaves or something? Different, very different. Maybe um, spawning glitch or something. Right, I think I've cleared out just enough. Now, moment of truth. Are we going to get a slime sapling if we chuck one of these buggers down? Yeah, that's going to be an interesting question nonetheless. <gasps> Yay! 
We're gonna slice up as least now we can grow slime trees. That's gonna be a bonus, right? And also, I think I'm gonna get a couple of these blocks just at least for the boots. So one, one, two of those. And oh, I've got five. Cool, right? I um, just do one, like so. Oh, bam! Oh, that last cool, right? Uh, Damn it, didn't want to do that, and um, let me see, so if memory says my right goals, those two there, and then these two here, and voila, make sure you bounce when landing. Oh, I've got to try this out. Pammy wants to try this out up here, really do. <laughs> that would be a freaking fun thing. Um, let's just quickly take these off, put those on. So if very, I've supposedly got like um like a feather falling that I want to try out. Really want to try it, but I don't know if I want to try it out at this height. I don't know. There's I think there's something else in Tingers I want to try as well. Um, slingshot if I'm, memory serves me right. So how do we work, make this thing? Right, we need string. Need a little bit more slime and. We also need some uh, more slime balls. Okay, it's actually not too bad. We've got what we need here. I'm not going to take down too much more. Just going to leave what's standing. Right. Moment of truth. I don't want to try out this height though. Right. Which way to come down? Okay, it came down here. Okay, this is nerve wracking whether it's going to work or not. All oh, right. Um, let me think. May, you know, go down to about a hundred, about say about eighty. I reckon then I'll try it. Right, we're at ninety-eight. So I think this should be at least a decent high in case we do die. So what? All right, moment of truth. If I die, you've seen it first. <laughs> and oh. This is going to make traveling around so much freaking more fun. That is so cool. That, I have to admit, is really, really cool. Why am I seeing good times with Scar around here? It's not the... Literally, like I said at the start of the video, I, when I was just trying to get myself... So I was so literally near spawn. So, yeah. Okay, that is awesome. Right, seeing that sat done, I'm thinking we try, need to try and find some string. Namely, I think we need to get it from a few spiders, but obviously it's none about the moment, so I may just have to go do a little bit of caving. Right, time to get this slingshot made, though. I really want to test it out, but we're going to have to do it in the day for obvious reasons, because I'm too scared of actually getting killed out there. Right, and what do we actually need to make the bloody thing? So, quickly do that. Uh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. So, what do we need to do? Slime. Ah, okay, we need slime balls. That and that. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Really not too bad, right? So, one, two, three. Like so. Two bits of string. One bit of slime there. Boom. Cool. Right. Uh, fried to, fried to was doing so for obvious reasons, like I said. We need to sleep first. Right, okay. Turn the try this thing out. So, how exactly does it work? I'm really curious. So, do we right click something? Okay, and let me just remove that a moment. Let's try that again. I'm stumped. It's meant to be working, isn't it? Huh, um... Okay, that stumped me. I'm sure I saw this working in Himno's video. Right, let me just have a little mess around with this. Holy cow! You have to actually aim it on the ground! <laughs> That is nuts! Right, let me try this from this angle. So, charge it up and... That is nuts, right. Uh, do... Try now and... Okay, I just hit a bloody tree. That is bonkers. Right, let's try that again. I want to try this again. So I can try and turn around. So I'll do it at this angle. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to have some fun and games with this. And tell you one thing, that is going to be some seriously fast travel. Especially at this early stage of the game, right? I want to try and move it back for my little spawn base, right? I wonder if we can actually do that without falling in a little mini cave system, right? Let's do that. Get out of the way, horse. And go. Ah. Kind of. We almost got there. <laughs> So then, um, yeah, so what we got to do next is... Let me just have a quick little thing. Oh my god, that was no, that's bonkers. Yeah, we've got, got to spend a little bit of time on the smell too. I'm thinking doing this away from camera light. I've got to do all the castings, which means I've got to find tons of gold. Um, I've got to get all the parts ready via this method, which really isn't going to take that long a length of time as it is. And also, I want to try and get at least a little bit started on with Tanya, as well as trying to get a little bit of power. To be honest, I've got bonkers amount of stuff to do. It's absolutely freaking nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, I need to stop doing this. It's too much bloody fun. <laughs> right, oh, we're on the roof. Oh, cool. So anyways, I'm thinking on that note, we are going to be ending this one here. So if you have enjoyed it, please do make sure to leave that like. And also, if you are new to the channel, I want to see much more of the series, please do make sure to leave that subscribe, because like I always say, every like, comment, and subscription helps my channel so, so much, and I'll see you next time.